All right, everybody, guess what this means? That's right, we got a brand new patch to talk about with Dead Island 2. They said that they had made some improvements uh, to the game's performance. I am going to go down and check this stool and see if it still freaks out. Is that still... All right, well, whatever's causing this is still an issue, even after the patch. Uh, but I'm just kind of used to it. So, oh well. All right, I just wanted to see if that got fixed. No, it did not get fixed. Or whatever's bother, you know, whatever's causing that is obviously hasn't been fixed yet. Um, okay. So the patch notes are. Let's see here. Fix the max headroom issue. I'm not really sure fixed issue where players would sometimes not receive achievement or trophy for max headroom. I don't think I had that problem, but they said they fixed that. Fix the perks of the job issue. And then, of course, they go into detail. Um, issue where the achievement slash trophy perks of the job would sometimes not increment correctly. Fix the Hollywood ending reward issue. Issue where finishing Hollywood ending with a full inventory awards two copies of Emma's Wrath, which are lost after performing a save. I don't think I ever had that issue either. Fixed weapon-focused issues, including um, level-matched weapons, which were left in storage, did not revert to their original level after proceeding through any loading screen. Uh, okay. Okay. I don't think I ever saw anything like that. Weapon durability does not decrease while certain perks are applied. Okay, well that could have been an issue. I just didn't realize or pick up on it. Game HUD fixes. Ensures minimal HUD presets. Preset turns off damage numbers. Okay. Never had a problem with that. <clears throat> Gen 8 console co-op improvements. Maybe me and little mama can test this out later. We haven't really had major co-op issues. But, you know, we would sometimes notice that the um, our connection would start getting a little weak after playing for so long. So maybe that, that is something that did get fixed. Um, Okay, introduced fixes which enable players on Gen 8 consoles to host co-op games. So if you've had issues with that, they claim they fixed it. Um, performance and stability improvements. Well, that's something that um, <clears throat> I'll be the judge of. The game's really never suffered for me in terms of, like, super performing, uh, like, performance issues. But it, it would be nice to see them maybe finally fix issues where zombies sometimes spawn right in front of your face. Like, if they could spawn off to the sides or behind you, like, out of your, your view, that would be awesome, right? So we, we, we have had an issue with that. I don't think so, lady. No, I don't think so. So... Yeah, I mean, if, if they said they've they fixed some issues with the game's performance, maybe we will finally see a moment with this game where um, zombies are not spawning in right in front of you. Maybe. I don't know. I don't want to say it looks like it's been fixed because I can't really tell right now, right? Because I just loaded in. But this is a really good spot right here. Ah, there we have it. You see that? Okay, so zombies are still spawning in right in front of your eyes. Still. Well. Yeah, here. Um, yeah, that's, um, yeah, I guess that's just always going to be a thing. But yeah. I don't think so, lady. Bruno's got you covered. <laughs> Alright. Dude, I'm gonna commend you for staying in the fight as long as you did, but... Eventually, you're gonna go down. 
And that's just the way it is. Anyway, all right, so those were the patch notes. If uh, anything that I read off seems like something that you were having problems with, you know, did it fix it? If, if so, um, yeah, let me know, because, I mean, a lot of that stuff didn't affect my game, but it was obviously an issue for players. Uh, if it fixed it, that's awesome. But yeah, the zombies still load in right in front of your eyes, just as we saw there. Um, I was kind of hoping that the very last patch was would have fixed that. Out of here, Baywatch! Get out of here, Baywatch! It's kind of hoping the last patch would fix that. It did not. Uh, doesn't look like this patch is shaping up to have fixed the whole zombie spawning in front of you this time around either. Uh, still, we're waiting on game plus mode. Those of us who are dragging the experience out, I'm just kind of dragging the experience out because I don't want to run out of stuff to do in this game, so I'm just going out of my way to kind of take my time slow way down with it because we have a while to go before we see a like a really good dlc drop for this game um again storage space is not getting expanded on uh, it doesn't look like it no unclaimed property i mean even if they could unlock this right here this unclaimed property thing to where you could actually drop stuff in here. I mean, that would be a pretty easy fix to storage space issues, right? Make this an interactive menu. It wouldn't hurt, would it? Uh, no game plus mode for us. As I said. But yeah, those are the notes. They seem to have fixed some trophy issues. Uh, some glitches with weapons. Uh, they also claim to have fixed co-op issues. That's kind of cool. So... Yeah, yeah. Uh, there you go. That's uh, that's the update right there. Nothing I can really test myself because I didn't have a whole lot of issues with half that stuff. If not, like most of it, it wasn't an issue for me, so I'm not really sure. Performance and stability issues, that still remains to be seen because, again, we, we just saw a zombie spawning right in front of us. Uh, maybe someday that will no longer be a thing, but it's still a thing, right? Anyway, you all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. And of course, naturally, I will catch you on the flip side.